could see the determination boldly written on their faces. Even the rain could not stop them. They are at the premises of the General Hospital Etinan, Akwaibom State. All 30 of them. Although they come from different career paths and local government areas, two things connected all of them. They are all Akwaibom people and they come in search of answers. Answers about efforts the Governor Udom Emmanuel administration was making in repositioning the healthcare delivery sector in Akwaibom State for the benefit of the people. The medical superintendent, Dr. Ime Eshet, took time to tell them about the efforts of the Governor Udom Emmanuel's administration to remodel the hospital to meet emerging realities and demands in healthcare delivery. So many. We could not even think of couches like this before. It's a natural couch. You could put someone on a bench, ordinary bench, exactly. Now you have couches, so you can you can you can bring out the couch, say me how you want to you want to bring out the steroids, you bring out the steroids, everything that is there, everything that you need. It is it is it is it is, it is, it is more comfortable. They asked many questions about how the hospital was in the past and the visions the government has for the hospital in the short and long term. And like what you are seeing here is first phase okay. of the work. Okay. This, this, the first phase was supposed to have been commissioned on the 11th of July. That was the last week of July. And the first phase consists of what? what consists of this accident and the and two other blocks. Okay. 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 The second phase is the admin block, the road network, and the extra department, which work has already started. And I want to believe that uh, within the next three weeks or, or one month, uh, it will be completed. They looked around. They even spoke to the caregivers, and this is what they said of the new state of the hospital. <laughs> From the last time I came to the hospital and now, I would say that there has been tremendous changes. And after about two hours of seeing things for themselves, this was their verdict. I'm so, so impressed with what I have seen. A few couple of years back, I was here. My, my junior brother, my kid brother was on admission here. Then my mom was on admission here. In fact, as at that time, I wasn't in the state. It, it was a bad, it was in a sorry state. But with what I've seen today, it's, um, I mean, it's very, very amazing. Based on the job that is being done, at least you can see what the place used to be. And you can see what it is now. Um, on that, it's, 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 it's wow. And we are so impressed with what we have seen. We've seen facilities, we've seen consumables, we've told us about the staff strength and the confidence they are able to be posed in their patients. Like three weeks ago, one month of uh, the government's uh, intervention, and uh, it, um, it's mind blowing to see what is going on here. It's not politics, it's not sentiment. We've seen the equipment, we've seen the structures. From what we've seen, from what I've heard, the, uh, the CMB, because it took time to take us around the facility, I want to say that I'm really impressed with what the government of the day is doing in our private. I want to commend the governor for coming down to help out in renovating um, this general hospital. For them and other patriotic citizens who will volunteer to join subsequently, this is a new page in the clamor for citizens' participation in governance and development. They hope to sustain this initiative because they know that as citizens, 
they are major stakeholders in the task of building a great and prosperous Aquibum state. Won't you rise and be a part of this patriotic initiative? Aquibum Citizens Tour. Let's see Aquibum and tell the stories our own way.